Hello, sales professionals. My name is Joe Pinero. I'm your sales success coach. I'm going to be running a series of videos, uh, kind of giving some keys and reminders and pointers about, you know, the most important things you need to be focusing on in regards of getting ready for your sales presentation, for that appointment that you have made. A lot of people that I've met over the last 25 years that I've been doing this uh, have a great system. They have a great intentions. They got a great game plan for the sales presentation. However, they miss one little important factor, which is focusing for the presentation, getting in the zone. A lot of times we let our personal issues, our moments, <clears throat> the things that have been happening in the daily basis, or maybe you had an argument, or maybe you have a little moment that it was not in the way that you wanted to, and we bring that kind of energy to our sales presentation or to our appointment. Uh, it's very important to be totally, totally mindset. Your mindset has to be clear about what is about to happen. You know, uh, selling is a transmission of emotion. So if you're coming in with some, you know, bad energy because something that happened before your appointment, that might and I believe can influence what's going to happen, you know, in your presentation. The customer is going to feel that something is not totally there. It's like, you know, uh, they cannot focus themselves on what you're saying because something might be distracting. It's gonna mess up your message. However, if you learn how to focus, if you take 45 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds, maybe a minute, some people need a little bit more, some people need a little bit less, but you take that moment you know, to focus and to get your head straight, you're gonna be more effective in your sales presentation with the client. For example, I played sports many years ago, a long, long, long time ago. I played baseball, I played basketball, I play tennis, I play golf, and it, one thing that I applied from all these experiences in the sports is that in sales, it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of, they got some, a lot of similarities. For example, if you see a baseball player and he's going to go on deck, we call it on deck. I don't know if you know, but that, that, that side of the, the park has a little circle and that surface is a little bit different. And what they do is that the next batter that is going to be on deck, right? They, they send them there. And I believe in the heart of heart, at least that's what I did when I was a baseball player, is that you start there kind of timing yourself, getting your mind ready, trying to time the, the pitch that it was going to be coming towards you. And that got you kind of thinking of what you're going to do and how you're going to swing and how you're going to apply all the things that you practice, okay? How you're going to execute at the moment of truth when the team needs the best of you focus. You cannot be thinking there, oh my God, you know, I had a little issue with my wife or listen, I haven't paid my bills or oh my God, I got to do something tomorrow. You got to be on the moment. You got to be there because you might be the defining factor of what's going to be the outcome on that moment. For example, a golf, golf player, you know, he start, you know, focusing, he looks at his target, he focuses like for 15, 20, 30 seconds. He's visualizing what he's going to do what he wants to happen. Now, he's not focusing on what he don't want to happen. He's not focusing on the bunkers. He's not focusing on the water because if you focus on the water, on the bunker, guess what's going to happen? You're right. You're going to be in the bunker. You're going to be in the water. And you say, man, I should have not focused on that. So what they do, they focus. They take them a little moment right there. Okay, this is what I want to do. They send that command to their brain because their brain is clear. And guess what? Everything else is going to follow through for you to be able to make that swing and get that ball where you want to be. And that's part of getting in the zone. A fighter, if you think about a fighter, he gets in front of the mirror and he starts, you know, shattering again and kind of practice that jab that he practiced thousands of times. You know, he practiced that right hand, his hook, uppercut. But he's not thinking about anything that's happening around him away from that ring. He's thinking, focusing on what he's going to do on the ring, what he needs to do to be successful, what everything that he practiced, everything that he tried out, every, every workout was just getting them ready for that moment. But if he's a little distracted, right, if he's a little bit out of focus, if his mind is not in the game, guess what's going to happen? As good as he is, as, as great his potential is, all the hours of practice, everything that they have got ready for, if they don't take that moment to focus, get them hyped up, get their energy up, get the enthusiasm up, get the whole focus, I mean, possess, you got to be possessed for that moment, guess what? Whoever wants it more, whoever's more focused, whoever has that opportunity to get focused immediately is going to have a better chance 
of executing their game plan. And if I, I can go on and on and on with every, every sport, I think that you get what I mean, right? So for example, if you're in real estate and you're in the car and you arrive to that appointment and you arrive to that listing, if you arrive to show the buyer, you better focus. You better have your mind right so that way you can de dedicate that time 100% juicy, focused, enthusiastic, so that way that customer can see that you are truly looking out for their well-being and not distracted with other things. Remember, when you are in the ring, you have something to do, and that's why you practice every single day. So you got to get your head right for the moment of truth. Whatever type of cell you're in, take that minute. If you only have a minute or 30 seconds, go to a corner, separate. A lot of times we're talking with the friends or the so-called friends, and sometimes there's negativity going on. Sometimes they're talking about what is not happening. Listen, get away from that. You know that very well. So what you do is, when they call you up and say, listen, it's your turn, whatever that means to you, you go to a corner, you focus. I remember I used to go to a corner, look at the profile of my customer, and I start visualizing what I need to do, and of course getting my mind right and being positive that I was going to be the best best salesperson these people have ever seen in their life. Why? Because I was focused. Now there's times that you're not, but if you can be focused 90% of the times, sometimes, you know, it's a little bit difficult, but it's not impossible. It's all up here. Remember, the first sale happens in your head between these two ears. And if you are focused, you already know what to do. You even know what not to do. But if you're not focused, those feelings and emotions are going to be possessed by the wrong energy. And guess what? The message is going to be interrupted. Doesn't matter what product you're selling, how great your product is, how much they're going to take advantage of the product. But guess what? The message is not going to be pure, clean, and direct. Of course, again, get your head right, focus, put everything that you know. And believe me, you know a lot. But we're going to continue learning because you need to become a student of the game. And again, this is Joel Pinero, your sales success coach. I'm here for you. I'm going to be throwing these out there to share it with my people and the ones that are listening because my goal, my personal goal is helping others achieve ultimate success. And remember, go for it with passion and everything you got so you have no regrets. God bless you. See you next time.